Let's get salty! Hey everyone, Zeddy here again today with a brand new video. And yesterday we took a look at what, at least I think, the, this dumbass's opinion on what the best cards from the Great Dark Beyond, what they will be. And as always, we like to take a look at the other side of things. And today we will take a look at the absolute stinkers, the cards that I think will suck. Will they get buffed? Who knows? We'll take a look as always, share your opinion in the comments down below. And also, if you haven't already entered our giveaway for two regular pre-orders, three mega bundles for the Great Dark Beyond, you can enter the giveaway by commenting, liking the video in the description down below, the one with that thumbnail over there. Be subscribed to the channel. Every thousand subs we get till Tuesday, just a couple more days to enter. I will add another mega bundle. So hit that sub button, make me go broke. And just like yesterday, we're gonna start off with Death Knight, which got a lot of good stuff. Um, a lot of good things going on, but you know what? 10 mana cards in Hearthstone, even if they have pretty good effects, typically don't see much play without being cheated out. And we have the Wakener of Souls, a 10 mana, eight, seven taunt. It's got Reborn, so when it dies, it comes back with one health and Death Rattle, resurrect a different friendly Death Rattle mini. You can't go infinite on self, but still, get a bunch of Death Rattles, but it's 10 mana. And the only way to really cheat that out that I'm aware of, Exarch Maladar, and I feel like it's not worth it because you gotta also have a really, you know, a nice death rattle to get back on top of that. And then you have like steel effects, silences, and the Renos of the world. I just don't see it happening other than it's not even really gonna be discovered that often. It's not an undead or anything like that. I just feel like, yeah, really annoying arena card, but in terms of ladder, uh, it might get buffed to like nine or eight or something. I, I still think this card sees more play just because of like kill Jaden, right? The uh, deleting half their, a bunch of the deck that has some validity. There's something there. I, I just don't really see it for the Wakener of Souls. For Demon Hunter, again, I am not super impressed with their set. Um, there's a lot of just particular, the, the whole sus mechanic, you know, the uh, crewmates. But to me, the card that stood out, at least when I was trying to make these cards work, Surprised that Eldritch Being felt bad. One mana, one three. Outcast and Spellder, Spellburst, shuffle your hand. You don't get to order your hand. It's still random, so who knows if it'll work out. And trying to outcast this in particular, just weird, because you're playing a style of deck where your hand is going to be all over the place. I felt like I had a Spellburst, and then I had to use a spell and then reshuffle. It's just kind of clunky. And I don't really know, even the crewmate deck, I feel like doesn't want to play this. They still want to really kind of more of a thin hand, an empty hand and not just try and reshuffle and get lucky or I don't know, maybe it ordered it more particular, like highest to low mana cost instead of just shuffling. Other than that, I just don't see it happening. I like the golden blinks though. They actually put some effort into some of these goldens with all the signatures, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, to me, kind of stands out as the worst card. For Druid, I don't know if they really have a bad card. I guess we'll have to go with Ulu, the Ever Drifter. There is some pretty cool stuff. Like you hit Freya, like copy your hand, copy the board for five mana. Could be really good, but it, I feel like it's just gonna be really inconsistent. And the big part with this card that sucks is the turn you draw it, it doesn't have a choose one effect. It's one of those type of cards where it's gotta be sitting there and then go into something completely random, which you can't plan for too. So it, it's just the variance I feel like will be too high. I don't think it's the worst card in the world, but it's not amazing. Um, honorable mention be like Stargrazer because it's eight mana, even though the effect is good. Like it's a lot for eight mana. It's just the old guff quest reward, right? Um, that's pretty good, but I'm gonna go with Ulu. I just don't think it quite works out. Even Final Frontier, at least there's got the starship synergies and might even see play. I just saw the uh, the flavor text. <laughs> I had to do a double t take on that. That's really cool. For Hunter, uh, they got a lot of good stuff going on, but I actually, I'm gonna give it to Gorm, I think. I actually do think I will give it to Gorm. I wasn't super in love with the Starship for Hunter, still am not, but Gorm is a card that is just, you have to play it on curb. Like it's such a specific thing. You gotta play it on curb and then you really want these eggs to go with it. And then you get a 12-12 and like in the perfect world, it might be okay. And that's about it, I feel like. To me, it's just the worst Hunter card, mainly because all the other Hunter cards are pretty good. Like the Starship stuff might be a bit weak. We'll see, we'll see how it plays out. But to me, Gorm is kind of the standout as the worst, but I honestly don't think Hunter really got that bad a card. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip flop like a politician. We're near election time anyways. 
Let's go with detailed notes. Let's play it safe. No, one, no one's playing this card. Even though you can get a copy of it with your one drop, you're not playing detailed notes to get to some beast that, you know, costs five or more, reduces its cost by two. We'll go with that. We'll let the 12-12, maybe because it's got validity. I'll go with detailed notes because, yeah, again, I, I doubt that sees play outside of the arena. All right, we, we dodged a bullet there. Uh, for Mage, what are we going to go with as the worst card? I kind of want to go with, like, Saren because, like, I don't know if you played elemental decks, but I'm gonna go Arcwing Pilot. I just feel like the payoff for this is just not there. The idea is like you cheat it out and then you play a bunch of spells and you feel your board with the seven mana four three Draenei at the end of your turn, deal three damage to random enemy. And then you have spell burst, you summon another one, right? So you get a bunch, but even if you have a full board, let's say you get a full board of these somehow, which is not gonna be that easy to do, even with some mana cheat, um, it deals, it's just at the end of turn and it's three damage. Like it might clear the board. It might push some base damage a lot. I don't know, but like, it's a lot of work for nothing that crazy, right? In today's game, I just don't see it. So I'm going to go Arcwing Pilot. I, I really don't see it. And that's even with, you know, the ingenious artificer, you know, helping you cheat it out. But then you have a bunch of spells and I, I just don't see it. Honorable mention to maybe Supernova. Fill your hands with friend fire spells, but my cat is adorable. She'd be very upset. Can't do that. Plus, you never know. Big spell mage, maybe they abuse it somehow, but I feel like they just want to like push damage and stuff. But you never know. For Paladin, there I feel like they didn't really get a bad card. Like, I'll go with Celestial Aura, because I just don't know what you're really doing with this. The new aura, the holy spell. Well, you have exactly one minion in play. Its attack and health are 10. It lasts three turns. I believe um, it'll lose that effect if you have anything more on the board and it's good with a charger, good like a big rush maybe, or like a taunt to try and protect yourself. But then you gotta build your deck specifically, I feel around this card and you have so much good stuff to do a Paladin. There's so much, like I think Labrams are gonna be good. You still got hand buff, still got Pipsy. You got lots of good stuff. I just don't think Celestial Aura makes sense in any of that. And like every one of these other cards, could see play for sure so for me yeah celestial aura will go i don't even know what to pick for <laughs> for like breeze there's a lot of options to pick from uh for what they can uh you know suck with i guess i'm gonna go with light speed give a minion a plus one and two and rush repeatable this turn for two mana feel like it's expensive at two i know the idea is to combo with like cure and get a bunch of stuff because you can repeat it but at two mana, I can't repeat a lot, like until later in the game. And then if it's later in the game, it doesn't feel amazing. And it's just like, I feel like it could be plus two, plus two, or one mana, plus one, plus one. I don't know. But to me, it's just kind of meh. But that's kind of the whole preset. Like nothing really stands out. I guess like, I, I can't believe I didn't give this on the best list, the overzealous healer. This is probably the best card. I wonder if I have a comment on, uh, I, I recorded this a bit ahead of time. I didn't put that on there, but yeah, I feel like it, it's gotta go with maybe with cure and work out, but overall, man, priest just did not, I don't know. The preset just doesn't excite me in like any way. Uh, for rogue, what is their worst card? I know in the last video, I said, I didn't think it's that bad. I just think there's better cards in Rogue than Tolgath. I just, you know what I mean? Like, it, it might be a 30th card in your deck, maybe. But overall, it's just really unremarkable. Four mana, four, four demon. Undamaged enemy minions take double damage. Combo, get a backstab. I forgot to combo this twice. I just assumed I'd get the backstab because, like, it's already not that great. But you got to combo it, which... Believe me, it's actually relevant, but hey, it plays around the black hole, which in theory crafting 1v2 games, which is hilarious because it's a demon. But other than that, like, yeah, it's only undamaged minions. You just get a backstab. It's easy to remove. It's okay. It might see a tiny bit of play, maybe. But if you look at every other card, I feel like they all have a much better shot of seeing play. So I'll give it that for Rogue, for Shaman. They got, again, they got a really good set of cards. Like, there's not really that much bad going on here. Even though this cheats a bunch of mana, I'll go with Cosmonaut. I feel like um, you you could do a big spell shaman thing, but I just feel like you don't want to do it with this. I feel like maybe it's Hagatha or I don't know. You have to really like build it around Nebula and then really hope to like copy it with Farseer Nabundu and then you're happy, right? I feel like it's just too much and then you're really limiting yourself on what spells you wanna play, which Shaman really likes to do. There's a lot of good stuff. So I'm gonna go towards Cosmonaut being the worst, but again, you're, you're just, you're trying a spell, you're reducing it by five, but it's seven mana. It's just crazy that 
The, uh, to me, this set's really strong. There's not really that many bad cards. And when I'm picking the worst cards, they're all kind of valid. Like that's that's the kind of state we're in. But yeah, I'll give it to Cosmonaut. I think it is the worst Shaman card. Uh, for Warlock, I think they actually might have some bad cards. Black Hole is not that bad in a demon deck, but ugh, it's it, it, like imagine like facing other demons. That can be really frustrating. For standard purposes, I'm actually going to give it to the Health Stone because I don't think Pain Warlock does enough damage in like one turn to really want to heal up. And the tradable is okay. But Pain Warlock really likes to be at lower health, and I don't think this would reliably heal them up enough and be worth it to play. And the only thing else, the only other thing I could think of is Insanity Warlock, where, yeah, they're taking a bunch of damage possibly with well, the fatigue effects. But I feel, again, rarely they need this. They have, like, the immune stuff that does other things on top of it. I, I feel like Hellstone might be the worst card we see out of the bunch for for Warlock. You could argue Abduction Ray, but the repeating shadow spells can be good. Plus you're getting Mana Cheat, which is certainly valuable. And by the way, that animation, again, I like the Goldens actually have some work done on the animation. That's nice. We haven't seen that a lot lately. So we'll go with that. But again, nothing too terrible. Warrior, I I'm sorry. Th this to me is a pretty easy pick. I know some people will say uh, Moldara because you have like eight patches eight patches, eight Bakus, eight Gens in your deck, basically. But playing the Spores will eventually be good, okay? I believe that. But Dwarf Planet, just getting a bunch of two drops that hit stuff randomly. There's just no world where this is good, right? Ten mana, get seven Doomsayers that attack for zero, and then your board blows up or something. I just don't see what, what deck this does anything in. It seems terrible other than just like a random spell generation thing that'll be highlight worthy someday. But I, again, what warrior deck wants this ever at the moment? The art sick. I made a, I made my new profile pick out of this. The, th the uh, signature is pretty cool. But regardless, the card seems like an absolute dumpster fire. And then neutrals. There's always bad neutrals. Although I will say um, theory crafting enlightened me onto Maybe Urzul Ranger's all right, that like uh, the whole like miracle rogue thing, because this goes to zero and spell burst and then I heal for five. So that's all right. We're going to go with Perplexing Anomaly. It's a three minute two five elemental rush taunt and stealth. It just doesn't make any sense. It doesn't work together. It's got an elemental tribe. The flavor is great, but I imagine this card will perform um, somewhat badly, but I mean, I'm sure we could pick some other cards too. Star skill, uh, Constellar, you know, doubling in attack, spell burst, like who cares? Even though the dragon looks really pretty and I don't know, a light fuse mana saber, six, six rush spell burst, gain divine shield. It's like the uh, pack filler to say, hey, spell burst is back. This is what it does, but in arena, not too bad. So there you go. There's really, I gotta say this set, not a lot of really bad cards. Uh, I feel like the worst I pick for a lot of stuff they're playable. They might be meta. Like it's uh, this is a really powerful set, in my opinion, and a very pretty one. The artwork on all these cards is phenomenal. And this will be like the last video we get to enjoy our uh, our special collection. Unless let me know in the comments down below if you'd like to see a video on uh, what minions have been updated to be Draenei in both Stain or WoW, because I can look in here and see all the old cards and see what's going to be Draenei when the uh, patch goes live likely i think on tuesday anyways let me know what you think worst cards are do you want that Draenei video in the comments down below if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe have a great day and stay salty my friends